Hello YouTube, this is another MMD PMD tutorial, and before I get started, I have to tell you guys I'm a little under the weather, so sorry if I'm like hacking or coughing or um, sneezing or anything. Um, so let's get right into this video. I'm going to show you step by step how I make my models. This video might be pretty long, I'm going to speed uh, a bunch of parts up, especially when I'm like sizing stuff, trying to make stuff fit or something, so you guys aren't you know, watching a, a 30 minute long video if YouTube will even let me put something on that long. Uh, so the first thing you have to do is download everything you want. Um, I'm not going to download it. I know you guys can figure that part out yourselves. I'm just going to show you how to do the base, hair, uh, hair texture, eye textures, and I'm going to put some clothes on it. Probably a shirt and like a skirt or shorts or pants or something. Um, so yes, download everything you want first, and make sure you know where everything is at, and keep everything in its folders. After you've done that, it's time to begin making your model. The first thing, let me go ahead and delete all this stuff really quick. The first thing that you guys want to do, of course, is to load your base up. I'll go ahead and use... I'll go ahead and use the Ren and Miku base. So you can click new for when you're adding on your base. And everything should come up. It should look fine. And if your model is white and it does have all of its textures in it already, like if it's with all these other files, it's probably just a bad base. So I would find another one. Um, after you load this up, first thing you do, come to this. Go to File, Save As. Do not push save and make a brand new folder for this. And in that folder, save this model and name it whatever you want. And before you even do anything else, go to that new basis folder and go to its old folder and copy all of the files that were in it. If it has... Um, like little readmes and stuff or other models in it. You don't need all that stuff if you don't want to add it. You can if you want. It's completely up to you. So let me do a quick check to make sure I have everything all right. Okay, click copy and then paste it into your new models folder. You have to do that because if you do not, your model will turn white. After you've done that, come back to this and just go ahead and save it again. And to double check if you did everything right, you can go to File, Open, and just um, open that model up. And if everything's fine, you did good, you didn't miss anything, etc. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some hair onto the model. So whatever hair you got, go ahead and go to that. I'm going to go ahead and just click something random here. Um, is this only PMX? Okay, it looks like it is. So, that's not a big deal. I will just show you how to do... I made a video about this before, so I'm going to do it really quick. How to do PMX to PMD. So, drag your PMD, PMX file. Click New. Okay. This is what you want if you like it. Go to here, File export and let me go back to here really quick just name it I'm just gonna name it hair and but put dot pmd doing that turns us into a pmd file so click save okay and don't get your hopes up though because sometimes it does not work so please 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 be careful with that um, and if you ever see any SPH or SPAs, I would highly recommend taking those. Oops, I didn't mean to click on that. Um, because those are usually, um, those are usually pretty good. So, I am going to go ahead and copy this folder and go ahead and place it in the base folder. I'll also go ahead and... But you do not, you don't have to copy SPH or SPA files if you don't want to. It's completely up to you. So, 
To make sure this hair even worked, go ahead and drag it onto your model. Click X. Add, it's adding everything onto it. And okay, so the hair looks fine. The textures are not on it because it is not, you're adding it onto another folder that does not have texture on it already. So now we have to add texture onto that. So, oops, go to wherever you have uh, your textures. And I'm going to go ahead and do, I'll do silky. Actually, I'm going to do shiny. Okay, yeah, I like these better. So, I'm going to go ahead and make this character's hair... Let's go ahead and make it green. So, go ahead and copy that. Don't cut it. And paste that in your model's folder. Do not forget what the file and extension is. So, this is green with a capital G dot PNG. So, come to your model. Click your D. Click VR. Exit that off, click your V, click MA, click C, and then click your S. You don't have to put this up, but it's pretty, pretty daggone useful, in my opinion. Okay, so what you want to do now is find whatever, wherever your hair is. Whenever you add something new on, it always starts with a zero. So it'll be zero, one, two, three, and this one goes on for a long time. So this one goes all the way up to 16. Every time, it's no matter if it's hair, clothes, whatever, it'll always start out with um, the zero. So before I do anything, I'm gonna go ahead and just fit this hair on my uh, character. Uh, why move stuff up and down? I guess I can explain this. Uh, yeah, why moves anything up and down? Z moves everything back and forth. Uh, X moves things side to side. And... These kind of like twist and turn stuff. This X makes stuff wider. Y makes stuff longer or shorter. And Z makes stuff move this way. Okay, so once you get this on your model how you like it, and I think this looks good, you can go ahead and add your texture. So you come to this, go to MA, and on your zero through whatever, you need to write the texture that you wanted for your hair. So mine was green.png. And sometimes it automatically shows up, sometimes it does not. So if it doesn't at first, that's fine. Just go ahead and repeat the process and... Okay, this one actually is coming up automatically, so great. But if it does not come up automatically, what you do is you press this little U button, which is update. And if that still does not work, go ahead and save your model, press update again. If it still doesn't even work after that, go ahead and make sure your model is saved. Then go to this file right here and go to open and open your model up and the texture should be there. If your texture is not there, make sure you spelled everything right, make sure you put the texture in the right place, make sure the texture is in your model's folder, etc. The way to do this is because it's taking so long, I'll talk about uh, this stuff over here. What those are is the shininess. That makes the hair, I mean it does exactly what it says, it makes stuff shiny or not so shiny. The higher it is, the shinier it is. The lower it is, the less shiny. Uh, the line right here takes away or adds to the dark outline around your character. Um, I personally like the outline off of my character. I usually don't take it off. But yeah, you can make it thicker or you can lessen it. So, I got the texture all on my hair. and Everything looks great. I'm satisfied with it. If you like it, you can go ahead and save your model. And... One of the best things that I can recommend is immediately go to MMD to make sure your hair works okay. Because if it doesn't, you'll have to uh, either try to fix it or restart. So go to MMD, press load, load up your model. And so as you can see, this hair is a little crazy. 
Um, I'm not going to worry about fixing this stuff now. Um, but if like this stuff happens to you guys and you want help, I will love to help you. But again, for now, I'm not going to I'm not going to worry about it because this videos are going to be super long. Um, so after you get your hair up, we're going to go ahead and add your eye texture. So go back to whatever eye texture you wanted. And for this, we're going to go ahead and do, let me see which one I like here. Okay, those are very realistic. That's, Mystic is nice. Um, Bright is also nice. Let's actually go ahead and try realistic. Let's see what that look, those look like. Um, we'll go ahead and make her eyes hazel. So we're going to copy that. And paste it in the models folder. And so this is hazel1.png. You come back to your model. Um, unclick all of the hair or unclick all of the whatever is clicked and now go to find the model's eyes so for this one let's see when you see that that's actually the eyelashes so that's not it uh, that's something else with the eyes and this is what the eyes look like they're two ovals so the eyes on this is number 8 so you go back to this box Go to your MA8 and type in H-A-Z-E-L-1 and let's see if these will come up automatically. Okay, so these ones, H-A-Z-E-L, H-A-Z-E-L1 dot P-N-G. Oh, this is BMP, that's why. Okay, P-N-G. Oops. Okay, so these actually did come up automatically, and these realistic eyes look absolutely fantastic. So yeah, these are great. So after you have that, and if the eye textures don't work, again, double check everything. And if everything is where it's supposed to be, you just have to try a different eye texture, and it's possible the model will not take eye textures. And if that's the case, um, there's a few things that you can do, which I'm not going to get into, so if you do have that issue, I will explain it to you and I will help you with it, but for now, we're going to go ahead and skip that. Um, now we're going to go ahead and add on a shirt to the character. So... What is these? Okay, these are actually pants, so I'll just go ahead and add on um, a skirt or something first to it. I'll go ahead and add on seven. And, okay, these are PMX, so again, this will be the same thing that I uh, did earlier. So first, go ahead and copy uh, the texture and put it into your base folder. Then go ahead and drag, press add. And again, don't get your hopes up, sometimes it will not work. So this one, was lucky, I was lucky enough for it to work. So select the stuff. Um, hold it and move it to make it fit and I have another video about you know making stuff fit your model and that's like cutting certain parts of like the model's body I'm not gonna go ahead and do that because it doesn't look like I'm gonna need to but if you do have that issue please go watch that video because it will help you because this skirt actually fit on this character very very well luckily so I don't really have to do anything. I would, I'm not going to worry about putting underwear on it either because, um, you know. Okay, so go ahead and save that. And again, what I recommend, go on to MMD and check it. Because if the skirt's all messed up, that means um, try to fix it or just pull another one up. Uh, and lastly, we're going to go ahead and put a shirt on the model. Okay, these are P I'm just going to do the first one that I see. Oops. So this is PMX again. And then copy the texture, put it in your base folder, and then try to drag the shirt over. Always push add. And okay, this one worked as well. Great. So scroll down to find the shirt. It's only It only has one. Go ahead and try to fit it. Since this is kind of long, we'll go ahead and shrink it just a little bit.
and go ahead and move it back a little bit. And so this one is actually an example of, um, I can show you an example of if you have to cut stuff on your model. So again, you can go watch the video, but you can also watch on here to see. Okay, so to cut, uh, to make this go away, like if you, because of course you can try to make it work first, but if you've tried pretty much everything and you just cannot make it work, then I would recommend going to this step. So start from zero and just start clicking to see which one of these is your uh, model's body. On this one, it's two. Generally, they are usually uh, one through five. Select a part that's causing you trouble. And go ahead and go back to your box. Right click, click S, yes. And a new box should appear that says NW. And then it should only single out that one piece. So go to the NW, right click, go to P, click yes, and it deletes that part of the model. So as you can see, the problem isn't there anymore. Um, and it does not affect the way your model moves. What affects the way your model moves is if you accidentally delete uh, bones or something. So yeah, don't even mess with those. So, yep, that works fine. And you just gotta double check to make sure no skin is showing. Um, so, when you're done with all of that, go ahead, save it one more time, and then of course check on, PM, on uh, MMD. If everything is working fine, and of course you can put shoes on it if you want, but I wasn't gonna put uh, shoes on this for sake of time. Um, if everything is fine, that means your model is complete and you are finally done. So if you do get any problems like with the hair going crazy or any of that stuff, I will go ahead and help you. Uh, I'll probably end up making a video for that as well because it is a little complicated. So I hope this video has helped you guys um, a lot so you can see what I do in the process of keeping stuff in the same folder and etc. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you have any concerns, again, leave them in the comments. If you would like to request any videos or if you would re like, like to request any models, also please do so. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.